Uh, welcome, this is Ad Emmen reporting for Premier Magazine, live from ISC in Frankfurt. And we're here with Robert Wisniewski, um, who is uh, chairing uh, Open HPC uh, initiative, and uh, he will tell something about that. So welcome. Hi, well, thank you for asking about Open HPC. Uh, this is uh, an open source, open community initiative to be able to produce a cohesive and comprehensive uh, system software stack that will run a, a cluster or run your supercomputer. Uh, the community was um, announced at last supercomputing, which was about six months ago. And um, since then, about over 40 organizations have expressed an interest uh, to join it. And we now have through, this is it's a, um, an organization through the Linux Foundation. And there are now over uh, 25 members that have officially signed on and are actively contributing both to the Technical Steering Committee, which is the organization that um, drives it through technical contributions, um, as well as an, um, an overall governance board. The, the community itself is uh, designed to be very open. It's designed to provide cohesion around a lot of the open activities that exist um, out there, um, be it from end users, uh, customers, large supercomputer centers, ISVs, OEMs, and vendors, and to provide cohesion around bringing us together uh, to uh, work on HPC in particular. The, the members are both from industry and from research? They are. The, the members actually span a, a wide variety. They span um, industry. They are also um, from academic uh, partners, universities. Um, in fact, one of the uh, members of the governing board is from Indiana University, um, Thomas Sterling. They are from um, national labs. There are a lot of national labs that are in, involved in the organization. And, um, and it's also uh, internationally represented as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's an open source uh, project. Uh, so, but actually, of course, uh, lots of components already exist in open source. So what does uh, OpenHPC add to that? Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's a great question. Uh, the, the goal and the effort behind OpenHPC is to, to curate, is I think a good way of saying it, to curate a, a series of open source communities that already exist. And that includes the Linux uh, distribution. It includes schedulers such as Slurm. It includes provisioners such as Werewolf, the compile tool team, uh, and uh, such as GCC. And, and the goal is to uh, curate and to bring all of these open source communities together and to package them up into a, a single cohesive and comprehensive uh, distribution, so to speak, um, that is distributable and in a very easy way to um, install with just a, a small set of instructions um, to be able to bring up, run, administer uh, a cluster or supercomputer. And, um, you mentioned a lot about these open source uh, components. A lot of the participants, um, including uh, Intel itself, is going, are going to be very active members in terms of contributing and, and, and pushing this community um, to be able to run on future supercomputers on larger scale machines. And one of the, I think, really unique opportunities that we have with OpenHPC is to take a lot of the work that we do um, for some of the high end and make sure that it can have a broad impact across the whole community. A lot of the difficulty, the, the type of work that gets replicated again and again uh, between you know, different companies, between um, end institutions that wish to stand up, a, a cluster, um, we are now providing in a, in, a, in, a, in a unified way so that that work doesn't have to be done again and again. And, and by doing so, we're leveraging a lot of the work that occurs on the high end and having a very broad impact ac across and, and making HPC accessible to a much larger audience. Um, so if I want to use it today, can I already do that? You absolutely can. If you go to uh, www.openhpc.community, there is you can either join and participate, um, and there are also already downloadable images. And what are the, the plans for the near future? Um, so, as I mentioned, this, this initiative was kicked off about six months ago at Supercomputing. Um, the, about uh, two or three weeks ago, uh, through the Linux Foundation's guidance, this is an, a Linux Foundation open project, um, through the Linux Foundation's guidance, we have set up a governance board as well as a technical steering committee. Um, the primary, uh, the way that this is being uh, driven is uh, through the technical steering committee, through meritocracy with the participating organizations making contributions. So one of the biggest 
tasks at hand. And one of the excitements for me as we kick this off is the fact that a lot of the participating organizations were very interested in contributing new components and being part of this, you know, this new vibrant community. And so um, we have to be very careful because one of the promises, of course, that this brings is that it is indeed a stack that all works very well together. We have seeded it with um, a, you know, build and, and test scripts to make sure that all the components play well. So I think, to answer your question specifically then, one of the immediate tasks at hand from the uh, t Technical Steering Committee will be able to figure out how we best incorporate a lot of these new uh, components that people are wanting to contribute so that, so that we really can live up to this aim of having it be this vibrant and growing ecosystem, but do it in a way that maintains the value that it has which is, you know, it allows a common and cohesive place where everything fits and is well integrated together. Thank you very much for this interview. Very good. Well, thank you for your time. For Primero Magazine, this was Art Emin reporting.